Hi there, it's Tressa. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Frugal From Scratch. Um, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. And if you're back, I'm so glad to have you here on this journey with me. It's June in New Hampshire and the spring vegetables are here like crazy. And so I am going to share with you two recipes today for bok choy. Here is some bok choy that I have and I have cut it down the center. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two different things. I'm gonna do a stir fry um, with vegetables and I'm gonna do a seared bok choy. So for the seared one, I'm gonna keep the base of it on. I'm just gonna trim a little bit, but I don't want it to come apart because I'm gonna have it, I want it to stay together. So I've got ghee in my pan, if you can see that. I'm gonna try to turn this so you can see both pans at once. And in this one, I'm doing a stir fry. So I've got some ghee in here. I decided to use ghee today. I use it once in a while. Um, well, more than once in a while, but ghee has a high smoke point. For the seared one, it's gonna be great. And it is, um, what it is is clarified butter. And a lot of people that have, um, that can't have dairy can still have ghee. So I just had, pulled it out. I'm like, oh, I'll just use it for both. So, in this pan, I have some carrots that I julienned, a, a carrot, um, a fresh carrot, and then I had some cauliflower in the freezer, so I threw that in. And what I'm gonna do next is I've got some leeks that I had cut up and put in the freezer, and I'm gonna add those. And I'm gonna let those cook down. I'm also gonna add some garlic. And um, when these are cooked down a bit, then I will add the bok choy. I'm going to show you how I'm going to get that ready. I'm going to add some, I have some chopped garlic in the freezer. I'm going to put some in here and I'm going to save a little bit for this seared. So I'm going to turn my pan on and you're going to hear a lot of sizzling today, but um, it smells really good in here with all the flavors. So, um, and what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to make it a teriyaki stir fry. So I'm going to wait and I'll add some teriyaki seasoning in a little bit. So I'm gonna turn this pan on and just let that ghee start to melt. And once that's melted, then I'm gonna add, I put this in and I'll show you how to do that. Um, on this one, I'm trying to chop so that you don't hear too much banging, really. Um, this is my bag of scraps and you can compost those or if you have chickens, you can give them to your chickens. And what I'm gonna do with the bok choy for this stir fry is I'm just going to slice it fairly thin. And this is a great stir fry. You could add grilled shrimp to it or grilled chicken or sauteed shrimp or chicken or beef. Um, it would be great if you had some like, um, I mean, you could do ground beef. I think it would be better with something like maybe a, um, Plank steak or something like that that you slice thin, or you could do tips um, and throw those in. So this is chopped up nice and small. You can see that, nice and sliced. My ghee is starting to melt, so I'm gonna get this pan, kind of swirl it around so that it covers the base of the pan. And I want it to be nice and hot when I put this in. I really just wanna sear this. Um, and then I'll season it afterwards. I'm gonna cut off this little bit of the protect. It's a little. All right, and this is cooking up really nicely. The leaves are cooking down. All right, let's get this in the pan and just let that start to sear. Kind of press it down in there. So the leeks are getting nice and soft. My carrots are cooking up. So I'm gonna add the bok choy to this pan now. And let this start to cook. And once this starts to cook down a little, I'll add the teriyaki seasoning. You could make your own. I don't have all the ingredients and I happen to have this great, it's an organic coconut. It's made with coconut aminos. And so that's what I'm gonna add. Once it's ready. Alright. Let me get this board out of my way. 
can see this. You can hear that sizzling. It's trying to steer on that one side. And I'm gonna flip it, and then I'm gonna flip it back again. Because I want the other side to steer a little bit, too. out of the way. I'm going to stir this a little bit more. Get that. Okay. And I, I do need some liquid in here, so I'm going to add the teriyaki. Now, get a good shake. I'm going to add some teriyaki to that. And I have some leftover chicken, so that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slice up my leftover grilled chicken and I'll throw that in and have this for dinner. It'll be delicious. But you could even eat the vegetables just like this as a side. It'd be really quite yummy. It'd be quite yummy. I just want to let that cook down. And kind of how much you like. Some people like their vegetables really soft. Some people like um, them to be a little crunchy. You could add peas to this. You could add broccoli. There's all sorts of things you could add. So two really simple ways. Let's see if you can see this. It's starting to sear really, really nicely. And I'm going to add some fresh garlic to this as well, but I don't, I didn't want to put it in the beginning because I don't want it to burn. And you need, you want this to sear up a bit. So when this starts to, so see, you can see how it's starting to brown up nicely. So I'm going to leave it in there. I'm going to lower the heat down so it's nice and low. I'm going to salt it and I'm going to add the garlic and just kind of swirl it around with the garlic and it's done. I mean, you can eat bok choy raw. So you I'm going to hear that garlic start to kind of sizzle. You can eat bok choy raw. So you're really just searing it around the outside and giving it some of that garlic flavor. I'm going to actually add a little more ghee to it just to give that garlic something to kind of cook up in. Turn the pan off. We don't burn anything. And just let that garlic sizzle up in the pan. Oh yum, this smells really good. And this is gonna be delicious just like this. So I'll probably just plate this and have it with my lunch. And that is super simple and easy, right? This is done. It's looking beautiful. Let me see if I can lift it up so you can see it. See how beautiful that looks? Seared the outside of the stuff and the greens are nice and melted. And that is done. And this stir fry is looking delicious. Like I said, you could add broccoli, you could add peas, really any vegetables. You could add green beans, you could add celery if you have celery, if you want celery in there. A lot of people like to start with like carrots, celery onions, garlic, but I have leeks and I like leeks in this better than I like onions, but sweet onions would be really good in here too, or scallions. So really, this is the kind of thing you can do with whatever you have. You could use other greens in this too. So you could, I mean, it's great with bok choy. And I love to, to put this over rice and with the chicken or the shrimp, that's my favorite way to do it, or the, or the beef. But if you don't have bok choy and you wanted to throw spinach in or arugula or any other greens, you could do that as well. So that's it, my friends. Two simple ways to make bok choy. Really easy, really fast, 
and so good for you. Healthy can be simple. I hope you enjoy these recipes. Check the link below for the um, link to my blog where I have all my recipes posted and some more information and some free offers. And be sure to hit the subscribe button so you know when I put up new videos. Have a wonderful day. God bless.